Hi, this is the first lecture in the biological psychology section um, or unit of AP psychology. Uh, we're going to start really small. We're going to look at the little pieces of a neuron and then grow bigger and bigger. So we'll first start with talking about the neuron in these first few parts. Then we'll move on in uh, later parts to talk about the brain and then the body as a whole. So here we go. The first thing that we... Um, I want to talk about is this what does this term mean biological psychology it's just the connection between the brain or the body and psychology so what does what does uh, how does that connection work how do the different parts of your brain your nerve your nervous system how do they make your psychology you know and as we get more advanced in science as things get uh, a little bit deeper into the in the field of psychology grows a little bit older, biological psychology gets a little bit more and more important because we start to understand that, you know, unlike Freud, where everything was just this unconscious thought, that now we're talking about, um, oh, our, our, those feelings are triggered by a specific region of our brain, and we can actually stimulate those feelings by stimulating that particular region of our brain. And so it just adds another layer of depth of, to psychology that um, it's really interesting. But here we go right into neurons. So there's three types of neurons that we need to know about. Uh, there's a sensory neuron. Sensory neurons take information from the outside and send them to your brain. Um, so it's just like it sounds. We get our, we have five, five senses, right? We Those five senses are how we receive or take in information from the outside world. We have our sense of sight, sense of smell, sense of hearing, etc. And that's, that hearing is when we take the sound from the outside and bring it into our, our brain and interpret it. So sensory information is from the out going in. A motor neuron is the opposite. It's information from your brain going to the outside, going to your uh, limbs, etc. So it's sending information out. Um, it's doing things. It's making your hand move off that flame that was kind of hot. Interneurons are neurons that are that operate within the basically the central nervous system they interact within the brain and the spinal cord so they're inside they never go they never try to go to the outside at all uh, one way I kind of like to look at this is kind of like a, a business the sensory neuron is like the call center they receive the information uh, they take the orders and then that information gets sent to the business right the business is the interneurons uh, this is they they work inside the business, right? And these interneurons send information back and forth until they finally place the order, and then that order is then placed and sent out with the motor neuron, which then takes it like a UPS driver and takes it out to where it needs to go and tells it what it needs to do. Um, so that's uh, maybe one analogy that might work for you. This is uh, just a high uh, microscopic view of neurons going on in action. It's kind of cool. We're going to take a look at, so you can see the cell body right here real nice and that axon right there. We're going to take a look at that right now. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five parts of the cell, I'm sorry, the neuron that we need to learn very quickly. Um, number one, this bigger part, it's usually on the left side when you see it in textbooks or something, that's the cell body. The cell body is like the powerhouse. It's the life source of the cell. It's where everything goes on. Um, I'm sorry, the neuron. Neuron's just a cell, but it's uh, where everything goes on. Um, these little ends right here. So that's the cell body. This whole middle part right here. The dendrites. There's these little branches right here, and they they take incoming <laughs> information. Hold on, my. Sun is so moving back. Um, I think we were on dendrites. So my son needed his blocks, so we're good there. This was the cell body. That's the the powerhouse of the cell, which gets things going. These little things right here, these are dendrites, and they are. They receive the incoming information from the outside world, or not from the outside world. They receive the incoming information from other cells or other neurons. So 
this is one tiny little picture. There's billions of these things going on inside your body, right? We're going from small to big here. And so there's another neuron right over here, right? And these are the little branches. Imagine this area over here, right here, right? And they're sending information, and they're going to send their information right over here to these guys, just like that. Okay, so these are dendrites. They're receiving incoming information, all right? So they're incoming info. Then once, once it receives that information, it sends it down this part right here. And this always goes away. And this is the axon. The axon always sends information away from the cell body. Axon away, right? Axon away, away from the cell body. So it takes the information it receives, processes it, sends it out away. And what you see around here, these little yellow things on this thing, these are called the myelin sheets. And these are like uh, speed boosters. They protect the axon and they help the information to go a lot faster than it would go if it wasn't out there. It's kind of like an insulator in a way. It lets that information just zoom right through and travel at a much greater speed than it would if that was exposed. So uh, these myelin sheets are made up of a thing called Schwann. I think there's two A's in Schwann. Schwann cells. Um, I don't know if I'm going to cover that later. So Schwann cells are what are the type of cell that makes up that. They're just another type of glial cell that the uh, body uses. And then finally, these little guys right here. These are called terminal branches. Um, sometimes you might hear them referred to as terminal buttons, branches. Um, terminal just, right, that's where it ends, like a train terminal, that's where the train stop ends. So think of terminal as the ending point. So dendrites where it starts, is processed by the cell body, sends the information down the axon, it gets boosted to boosted speed because there's myelin sheets going around it. And then it gets over here to the terminal branches, and then it repeats the process. That's it right here. These are the little terminal branches from the other cell, right? They're sending the information, and it just went, you know, uh, multiple times per second, which is crazy, right? It goes very, very, very quickly. So uh, that's this first part um, of neurons. We've got a bunch of, uh, break this up into a bunch of different parts. So uh, stick around for part two.